Hello, welcome to 39 West 131st Street. We're conveniently located between Fifth Avenue and Lenox Avenue. These are extremely residential blocks in Harlem. You have a playground on this corner to the east on Fifth Avenue, and to the west you have this beautiful wine bar called Pulpet, and that's expanding actually. Let's go in. Uh, this is a two-family home, so we'll start here on the parlor level. I'm obsessed with this room because of the ceiling height here. You have 10 foot, four inch ceilings. Look at this beautiful marble mantel place. This house is not staged. This is how the owner has decorated it. And this is fit for architectural digest. As we go through, you can see this handsome oak staircase. I love the details of it. And it really kind of brings home the pre-war details of the home. This is your powder room here, so when you're having guests over, it's very convenient. And then as we go through to the rear of the home, this is your staircase that leads to the basement level, which is currently a gym. And this is your Eden kitchen. So you have the updated black appliances here with the stone countertops. This table is huge, actually. You can easily host a gathering of eight of your closest friends here. And you have this beautiful garden here in the rear, which I love. Do you hear the birds chirping, by the way? So, look how green it is here. So this is a semi-detached home, so you're only attached on one side of the house. The other side is open. It's a parking lot there, but it's nice that you have that openness there. And this is the green garden. You also, this is a two family home, so you also have a garden level floor through apartment here. One of the, have you ever thought that owning a townhouse is out of your reach? Well, it's not, because this house is gonna be priced at $2 million and it's ready for move in right away. We'll show you the rest of the house. Hey, welcome to the second floor of 39 West 131st. Come this way. You have an absolutely stunning living room here. Again, we're on the second floor. This is south facing. You have really nice high ceiling. It's also a nice length, so you can really set up multiple spaces. The owner has it set up as her TV area, entertaining area. You have a beautiful exposed brick accent wall here. I can't get over the details of these staircase. I feel like it's a whole other accent piece to the entire brownstone. So you come with me here, beautiful hardwood floors. Now this is set up as a home office, but it could easily be the master suite. So we have a full bath in here. And then you slide down this hallway. You've got a nice closet. Again, the exposed brick and the statement piece fireplace. And then this way, you're facing north into gardens. You have green. These beautiful shutters frame every window. And I think it's a really nice detail and design touch. So again, this is set up as the home office. You can see it's really spacious. I think the dimensions of this entire brownstone are really lovely and balanced. So now we get to go with my favorite part. The brownstone. And you have sisal everywhere, which really brightens the home, while also is giving you durability and functionality. So this is the sleeping level as of now. You have two full bedrooms and another full bath. We'll go this way to the primary first. Again, bright, light, clean, stylish. You're south facing again, so your light's just gonna flood in. These windows have city quiet windows, so even though you're on an idyllic block, you have extra noise canceling in here. You have two closets, and this room can easily fit a king size bed with two side tables. Every year, we're always gets excited about this. Full washer dryer in here, mammoth. Great storage, and you can see the staircase is where your access to the roof is. I'm just close this for you. Here's another full bath, clean and simple. And then if you can't guess, this is your perfect kids bedroom. 
tons of stuffies in here that I want to steal. But again, really nice size. You can have two children in here if you wanted to, bunk beds, two twin beds. As you can see here, the shade really gives you the balance and dimensions. And again, another closet here. All right, this wraps up the top tour of the brownstone. See you soon. Now we're in the basement, the lowest level of the brownstone. And the way this is laid out, it almost makes you want to do CrossFit. So you have a really fantastic home gym. Again, clean, bright walls. Uh, the walls have just been done. The floor has just been done. You have plenty of space for your home gym. And you maybe tuck some rug wrap away. You have storage in here. Your meters are also in here. It's a really nice sized room. And this basement would clearly span the entire width of the house. So it's a really fantastic amount of space. And if you've been looking at brownstones, you know often the basements are scary and dark and the ceiling height is this high. So this is pretty spectacular. A little bit of boxing for Huni later, and then you've got your water heater and house heater here as mechanicals. Okay, so this is the garden apartment of the multi-family, two-family. This was rented out for $2,700 a month. It's a great way to offset your cost of living. Come on in. So this is a floor-through garden. As you can see, it's also been renovated. It's a gorgeous little apartment. You have oak hardwood floors throughout. I love the open kitchen here. So huge living room. You can have little dining there. You have your cute little sconces. Nice kitchen here. And you have a long hallway going into the bedroom. This is a little coat closet here to your right. And a very nice full bathroom there. A white tile bathroom. And this is the bedroom. So this space is the garden. It's super quiet back here. You can e easily fit kind of a queen size bed here. You have a double closet in the room, but it's the perfect rental and it's completely separated because the garden access is actually through the owner's triplex upstairs. Okay.